All right, welcome to another video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 reasons to buy a Honda CRV 2023 or 24 Sport Touring All Wheel Drive Hybrid. Um, so, first, we're going to go off with fuel mileage. Great fuel mileage for how big of a car this is. Currently, we have about 23,000 miles on this car, average is about 36 miles per gallon. Um, rated at 37, so slightly lower. Most cars are like that. Current tank, we're getting about 40 miles per gallon. Um, this is overall across the 23,000. I know it says 3,000 there, but it kind of just resets. It doesn't do the tens. Um, but yeah, great mileage. Given how big this car is, most vehicles of similar size are gonna be getting around 21 miles per gallon, 19 miles per gallon. So to nearly double that in a SUV is really amazing. All right, so reason number two, we're just going to go outside and just take a look at how beautiful this vehicle is. Um, overall size is great, mid-sized SUV, uh, but just elegant design. We got a really nice grill in the front, all these border pieces trim. I added the hood deflector there, but overall very elegant, beautiful design. You're not going to get something better RAV4, kind of ugly in my opinion. So are a lot of the other vehicles of compares, comparable models and makes. Next, we're gonna go into the spacing. So compared to the main competitor, which I would say is the RAV4, you're gonna have so much more interior space, like just vehicular wise, you can, there's just so much more legroom here. I don't know if you ever go and test drive a RAV4, but it is way smaller on the inside. Um, maybe like maybe at least 15 to 20% smaller. You're gonna feel a little bit more cramped. So if you're a bigger guy with bigger legs, um, wanna fit your whole family in here comfortably, especially for road trips. I'm gonna say the Honda CRV wins on overall interior space and a few inches larger in the front to back and sides as well. All right, reason number four is gonna be the way this car handles. It is incredibly smooth on the road. Steering feels great seats are comfy but the way this vehicle handles and all the safety features that come with driving are just incredible it'll keep you in your lane um, it will overall just just feel very smooth when you're doing turns nothing jolts nothing kicks you know you don't get that engine stutter from start stop engines just overall no pings clicks very smooth ride um, been very happy with it super quiet when it's in ev mode even being a CVT, the engine is not loud. Um, they did a really good job soundproofing, double pane glass windows, padding on the engine. Um, you do not hear this thing. It is quieter being a CVT than a tra traditional um, automatic engine, um, six speed. So super quiet, super nice ride. All right, reason number five is gonna be the Honda Autopilot system. It's not officially called that. It is the adaptive cruise control and the lane assist. But when I tell you this thing is amazing, it is amazing. So we have the controls right here. This is lane assist. You turn that on, you're gonna have a camera up in this region right here. That is gonna be guiding you on the lanes on the road. I use this on the freeways only. Um, and then we're gonna have the adaptive cruise control here that is going to control a radar in the front of your car it is going to keep pace with the vehicle in front of you up to a set speed um, so when, let's see if we can show you here so there we have it there um, you can set the speed once you're driving can't do that right now because we're not driving um, and then here's the lane assist on so when both of those are engaged this vehicle 95 percent pretty much driving itself you don't really have to you don't have to keep your feet on the gas or brake really amazing for stop and go traffic you just sit there and it'll scoot your car forward when the car moves up it you can also decide like how far you want to keep from the vehicle in front of you using this button here um, let's see if it shows here yeah so you see those little mile markers kind of changing right there so that's going to keep you about like four car pace from the one in front of you three car pace two car one car um, i generally keep it at around three just so that there's not so much distance that people are skirting in front of me all the time but it is amazing it will turn the wheel for you just make sure that the lanes are nice and clear if it is a faded old road it's not going to be able to tell where it's going obviously um, and every now and then it'll remind you to touch the wheel make sure you are holding on to the wheel but i cannot tell you how much that saves me on these commutes where i'm going like an hour to work or whatever you can just relax um, sit back, keep your hand on the wheel down here, and it's just going to drive yourself all the way home. 
um, there are a few things like any autopilot system it's not going to be super perfect so if someone's you know cutting you off you do need to make sure you are in control it has been really good at slowing it down when that happens um, the only occasional tick that I've seen is that sometimes when you have a big semi next to you it will slow down for just a half second and then keep going I'm not sure if the radar is picking that up as something trying to get in your way uh, it doesn't happen with any other vehicle just semis but amazing amazing adaptive cruise control system all right reason number six is just going to be this dash design like look how elegant that is that is just beautiful shape honeycomb texture all the way across nice uniform grill um, it is just you know such a beautiful design in my opinion especially compared to like the RAV4 or the Hyundai's they just seem so outdated in their dash design and this thing is just so nice overall we got all of our switches here we got the manual shifting knob and that's what i like a lot i mean it's a digital system but the, the fact that you can actually physically grab something is so much nicer than you know pushing your car into drive or park um, i just like having a bit of tactile touch we do have the very nice touch screen and it comes with android auto and apple carplay um, but having like even just the volume knob or the track seek being in physical buttons on the wheel here too um you'll have it you know in your song you'll have a tactile button there and then you'll have a tactile one here when you're driving um, just having it not be pure digital is such a nice system because when you're you know in your tesla and your batteries aren't working whatever you just it's just hard to switch through the screens when all you're trying to do is change a song here you can just reach over and do it without distracting you from driving um, so it's the perfect combination of tactile controls and digital cluster and very nice job honda it's just a very beautiful steering wheel very beautiful dash like this is just gorgeous design perfectly symmetrical um i can't handle asymmetrical which is why i personally couldn't get a hot hyundai um just having that skewed logo just drives me up a wall with my ocd but just love the symmetry and overall elegance of the design all right, reason number seven is gonna be all the space that we have here. Um, especially since we can push these seats back all the way down, it makes just a ton of room and I can actually fit up to three bikes here on top of each other when this is all the way down. I do have my own spare tire for when I'm heading off road or anything, just in case, and you know, a few emergency kits, things like that. But combined with the seats going down, like you just have so much space like all of this just turns into a cargo bay i can fit you know a full-size bed you can check out my other videos where i install a little floor here and it basically turns it into like a full-size bed in the back where two people can actually sleep very comfortably on a camping trip um again a lot of vehicles have that feature but you don't get as much interior cubic feet space as you do with the crv the RAV4 is going to be slightly smaller, maybe comfortably sleep like one and a half people or two skinny people. Um, but if you're in America, you're probably a little large like the rest of us. So Honda CRV, great for overall cubic feet. It is a little bit larger than the previous generations. Um, I think just in this back is around 40 cubic feet of space. And when those are down, it's just so much room um, and full body extension. You don't have to crap your legs if you're laying in the back here. All right, reason number eight to get the Sport Touring Edition is you're gonna have that two liter engine, which is gonna give you more horsepower. There's no turbo, which is great. With the gas version, you're gonna get a 1.5 liter turbo. And in my opinion, those things are a little underpowered and they're compensating by adding that turbo. But when you're doing that, you're pretty much reducing the life of the engine because you're just making a little pony pumping it up on steroids and sending it off. You know, it's, it's gonna perform great, but then long term that thing's going to get tired out and give out on you sooner than having like a full-size normal engine um, to just power the whole vehicle the electric system is great we can see that here um, very nice design everything is easy to change easy to maintain on your own um, that's a feature you'll get with any honda or toyota vehicle um, stay away from these luxury brands is if you don't want to be paying a lot in maintenance because those cars you know they'll put the battery which is something that should be right here they'll put it like under the driver's side to the point where they actually have to lift the car out remove parts of like the engine and then change the battery 
completely moronic design, but they do that so that they can price gouge you um, at the dealership and get you in for those $2,000, $3,000 maintenance packages. With, you know, any Honda, you're going to be paying only $100, $200 for whatever you need. Um, so overall, great engine design. All right, reason number nine is going to be overall vehicle safety. It is a top IIHS, top safety pick plus, um, rated super high overall, one of 20 in the year that made it to that category 21 um and it is just overall a very safe vehicle if you get in an accident you're gonna have much better odds than most people um we got the side airbags we got you know crash safety prevention we got sensors front back left and right the amount of times those sensors will go off and warn me and has already saved me countless times sometimes the vehicle in front of you slows down all of a sudden that brake sensor will automatically trigger and stop your vehicle and save you. So for safety rating, very happy with this vehicle. And someone whose previous vehicle was in an accident and got totaled, um, safety was one of the top things that I'm looking for, especially if you got a family, to make sure you know you guys are doing okay on the road and get out of whatever predicament comes your way. All right, and number 10, our final reason that you should get a Honda CRV Sport Touring All Wheel Drive is going to be the sound system on this thing. I can't really play it because my video will get demonetized, but we got Bose speaker systems on this thing and they bump. Um, the bass on this thing, super crystal clear. You're going to be, you know, going down the road. Everyone's going to be wondering what's you got, you know, subwoofer in there. Um, it does have one in the back, um, but this thing gets loud and even when you turn up that bass to ridiculously high levels, it stays crystal clear. It, you know, you're not getting that reverberation, the vibration sounds, the plastic rumbling. Um, the interior build on this car is so good. Um, the only time you'll feel like a plastic vibrating is if you have like a little bottle or something in the door. Um, but from the vehicle itself, very well put together. So the sound system just works incredibly with it. And I bump that thing up and down the road on the way to work all the time. Um, I cannot tell you how much I love that sound system. Sometimes when I go inside my house, I'm like, ah, oh, dang, I don't have good music anymore. Um, but you just hear pieces from the music that you don't hear um, when you're playing it, you know, on your headphones or traditional speaker system. It's going to reach those highs and those super deep lows. And, you know, you'll hear parts of tracks that you haven't heard before. You're going to want to make sure you're playing it through a digital. So your Apple Music, your Spotify, if you do play it through the normal car radio, you're... It's not gonna be as good quality music, obviously, because it's coming through the antenna, but if you can get that digital high quality, high kilobits per second music coming in, it's just gonna be overall such a pleasant experience. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for all the like and support on the channel throughout. Um, I hope you appreciated these main few reasons and if it's a deciding factor um, be if between your next vehicle. Um, I do have another video on top reasons why you might not consider this vehicle uh, but again overall very happy with my purchase it's been about a year and a half got about 23,000 miles on it um, been loving the experience very happy no regrets stop watching this video and just go get yourself one of these cars um, again like comment subscribe we'll put out some more content on this vehicle thank you guys for watching i really appreciate all the support and please leave a comment down below let me know what you think of these top 10 reasons thank you guys and have a great day